Before going further, it's a good idea if I introduce a few of the terms you'll encounter while using FileMaker. Many of the words used in talking about FileMaker have commonly understood meanings, but there are a few special terms that I'll mention here to help you get started. FileMaker enables you to create database files. Each file contains one or more tables. Each table may contain one or more fields in which specific elements of information will be stored. Each table can then accommodate one or more records, each of which provides a new instance of each of the table's fields to accommodate a discrete set of field data. These are similar to the rows of data in a grid or spreadsheet. When a database has only one table, it's sometimes referred to as flat, meaning that it has only two dimensions the fields and the records in that single table. However, when a database has multiple tables that contain information that's interconnected, such as how a table containing a list of books may connect to a table containing a list of publishers, such a database is then called a relational database. A complete FileMaker database system is often called a solution, referring to one or more files that work together as a whole to meet a set of user needs. Within a FileMaker solution, many of the words, names and types of objects you will encounter will be familiar and their purpose will be clear. But there are a few exceptions, with some words having an added meaning or an added implication when used with respect to working with FileMaker. Whereas most programs present data in screens and create printed output in the form of letters or reports, FileMaker uses the term layouts to refer to its unified presentation layer and design service that enables you to arrange information for any or all of these purposes. So to create a screen, you must design a layout. To create a letter or report, you also design a layout. FileMaker provides a special mode for creating and modifying the appearance of screens, letters, reports and so on, called Layout Mode. Everything except the window borders, scroll bars and the status toolbar at the top of the window falls within the layout. In many programs, there's a search feature for locating information that meets some search criteria you enter. In addition to the quick find search field in the status toolbar, FileMaker includes a search feature that's called Find. And field-specific search criteria are entered in FileMaker's Find mode. In Find mode, the same layouts you use for other purposes do double duty as screens for entry of find criteria. So in effect, any data that you can enter, view or edit, you can also use as the criteria for a search. In most normal data operations, when you are entering, editing or sorting information in the database, you will be in FileMaker's Browse mode. And when you want to see how a screen or report will look when printed, FileMaker provides a preview mode. The mode of the current window can generally be seen by glancing at the label in the lower left border of the window. And in fact, you can click on the mode name in the window border to access a mini mode menu and select a different mode. Alternatively, you can choose a mode from the view menu or by using the corresponding keyboard commands. On Macintosh, the keyboard commands are Command B for browse mode, Command F for find mode, Command L for layout mode, and Command U for preview mode. On Windows, Control B takes you to browse mode. Control F invokes find mode, Control L enters layout mode, and Control U displays preview mode. When you add more than one table of data to a solution, it's common that there is a relationship between the things that are detailed in different tables. For example, a school database may have a table of students and a table of courses, and when a student is taking a particular course, a relationship exists between the student record and the related records in the course table. FileMaker provides you with a way to keep track of data relationships. When there are one or more records related to a particular record, for example, multiple students doing the same course, FileMaker allows you to see a list of the related values in a layout object called a portal. Other special layout objects are the web viewer object, that provides access to internet data, the chart object for displaying graphs of your data, the tab control, slide control and popover objects for organising information into tabbed groups or panels, allowing you to make more efficient use of the available screen area. 
Although much of the information in a database will have been entered by users, often you will want the solution to combine the information or present it differently, such as totaling values together. FileMaker provides special fields called calculation fields and summary fields to make this possible. Also, if you want to store images, files or movies in your database, you can use FileMaker's container fields for this purpose. Last but not least, when there are a series of actions that are frequently performed, FileMaker lets you save the steps in sequence so that they can be performed automatically. These sets of stored actions or procedures are called scripts. We'll be bound to encounter a few other terms along the way that I'll explain as we go, but the terms I've mentioned here are the ones with specific meanings and that come up frequently when you're working with FileMaker.